The first job on the list for the interior of the van is to take this shower out and replace it with a table and chairs because I get sick of converting that bed into a table every time I want to sit down and eat dinner or work on my laptop. So let's get that done then, shall we? Unfortunately, all of this has to be torn down, starting with this map. Sorry, Keegan. Your map's going, mate. In the winter of 2020, Root Dol Sol faced down the barrel of destruction. In addition, the entire world plunged into a collective fog, halting our journey. Despite the chaos these events have brought, with our technology partners, Sun Power and Galt Energy, we're ensuring that these difficulties turn into opportunities to be a better and more united solar community. We're proud to bring you this latest series from the specialist workshops of RRS Race Prep. Together, we're going to demonstrate our commitment to seeing a better tomorrow by engineering solutions to problems of the past and pushing the limits of what is possible. Welcome to Root Del Sol 2.0. So I've done cleaning up and demolishing this whole area here. It's almost ready to start planning the next stages. What I want to do here is I want to turn this exhaust fan around and put it behind here into the front cabin. The front cabin gets really hot and kind of stinky when it's summer. So I thought, seeing as though this is already wired up and it has an outlet outside, I just turn it around and then I have my exhaust fan into the front cabin. So I'm gonna do that now and see what happens. Now I'll cut the hole through, all I have to do is fit the fan in place and then glue it all together and it's fine. That's a wrap. It's it, the it's late at night, so obviously my whole existence is a question right now. <laughs> I'm at the workshop alone. Everybody went home. They're all encouraging me to stay. They did, however, give me a tecate roja, and they left me alone in the workshop, which is probably when you're the most productive when there's no one around. I ended up just taping it in place at the moment. I'm going to secure it in with a few little brackets, but uh, when the time's right, I'll do that probably won't end up happening because that's how things are when you live in a van. <laughs> but yeah, I probably should because we bounce around some rough roads and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, that's done. I'm gonna finish my beer and I'm gonna get on the road here. Peace. cut the floor open so that I have space to work and weld these pipes into place. I'm thinking I have to make some sort of platform to bring the pipe up to the right level. Let's go! Alright 
Pepe, what are you drinking, bro? Uh, this is a, a local drink, Jamaica and Limonada. You go half and half, pretty good. That's it? That's it. Nothing too special about it? No, <laughs> there's a magic. Where did you get it from? La Michoacana. La Michoacana, give me a taste of that. COVID free. COVID free. Buenísimo. Refreshing. Refreshing. That's the schnitzel. That's why we love Mexico, right? That's the schnitzel. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Canta y no llore. <laughs> It's Sunday, it's been a long week. I quickly go over what I'm doing here. Basically behind me you can see these two seats here. There's one here and there's one here. Um, this seat is gonna have my water tank in it. The water tank is gonna be made out of stainless steel and we're gonna fabricate a stainless steel water tank for that area next week. It's gonna be about 100 liters or so. Over here is our other seat. And inside of it is my original 16 gallon, 30 something liter water tank. I'm gonna use that for a spare backup water tank and for a few other things like the outdoor shower and some more of the hot water sort of system. So basically I've built these seats, they're multi-purpose. Uh, they're gonna store all of my water, but also they are gonna form this new table area. I'm gonna move this door that you're looking into right now a little bit this way and the new doorway is going to be there and then this area is going to be a little couch area that also can form part of the table today's job is to build this table so basically i've got this little tube of steel and it goes on top of this pole here the table is going to slide up and down this pole like this and when it's down at this height it's going to be level with these seats the one that i'm sitting on right now and when it's uh, dinner time, it's going to be up sort of at dinner table height. All right, so I've measured the table. This is this crew drawing here. It's going to be 30 inches wide by 26 inches long. And then it's going to extend out by maybe another 24 inches to the edge of the table on this side. So let's get chopping, make that happen. I've got down here set up this tube and this straight angle and I'm going to cut the tube open. The reason I'm going to do that, instead of using the angle iron that I was using before, I'm going to use this tube and as you can see the metal slides in and out of that perfectly. So what I'm going to do, because this is going to be a table, I'm going to cut a face off of the tube, face off the tube and then basically we're going to have an open tube which this with this tube can sit in and then a table's gonna come off the side. I'm just gonna do it and you're gonna see what happens, but that's, that's the plan. the table. I probably need to go and have some food because I haven't eaten all day but this is the general idea of the table. It's going to go here. Well that's not exactly level is it now. It's going to go there then this is going to slide out to about somewhere like about there and there's going to be another table setting here. Uh, sorry seat setting here and basically someone can lay here and sleep on their own little bed. But yes, that's the general idea of my, of my crazy chair table system. -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm going crazy. I need to go get a shower. Look at my face, I'm so dirty. At least I didn't get anything in my eye this time. All right, so here it is. This was the idea in my head. Basically, it's on an elbow with a slide out mechanism underneath it. So this slides out like that to make the table bigger. But we're missing a seat here if it's over like that. So you can pull this out. This is the 
other position it can be in so you can sit in that seat I don't know what my favorite seat will be or you can pull it right out flip it around if you're comfortable enough you can fit in these two seats it's a little bit of a tight squeeze but I think that you could do it and then the whole thing lifts up to table height but also goes down to bed height if I want to make it a bed and the plan is this it'll join like that basically that will rest on top of the other couches so that's it that's the bed table combination I was sitting here working on my computer and I found this little fucker rustling around in my cupboard over here and so I have to do something with him but I knew I had mice because I've been seeing them running around the place for the last couple of days so now I've caught him her hopefully that's all that it, there is hopefully there's no more anyway I think I'm gonna go take him for a long walk and release him out in the wild and hopefully he or she will stay away but we'll see let's go do that so it doesn't freak out I didn't have a firm enough grip on it but as I got out here it jumped out of this thing and just ran off into the bushes over there let's hope that it lives a merry and happy peaceful life out here in the wilderness that is next to the highway in Baja California Mexico and let's hope it doesn't find its way back into my casita down here through my garage which isn't that far away from where I just released it just over here righty then so it is now 8 p.m. at night and look what I found another mousy boy now it's definitely not the same one because we can compare the videos i got them both safely and humanely release it out in the wild which is what i'm about to do so that this guy can go and join guy or girl can go and join its partner i'm assuming who was the other mouse that uh yeah that i that i caught earlier all right mousey mouse off you go in the same place as your buddy the buddy was there in that log and i'm gonna let this one go here ready And off they go. There's another mouse. There's another mouse in the house. There was two. Okay.